Did you know that GarageBand has some hidden options right here in the settings that you may not know about? To get to them, tap on your regular settings button and scroll on down until you find GarageBand. Now the top section is pretty much your standard iOS settings. You can have a play with them, but we have some custom settings down here. Let's take a look at those now. Want to get a handle on your knobs? Well, you can change the knob gestures from automatic to linear or circular, so they'll always work the same way. Crosstalk protection can protect you from that horrible guitar feedback, so I suggest turning it on. Automatic recording length will match the length of your projects to your audio files. Got an MPE supported MIDI controller? Turn this on. Want to see note labels displayed on your keyboard? Turn on this one. And here's what they look like. This setting adds some additional free AUV3 plugins, so you want to turn it on, yeah? And if your GarageBand is crashing and won't restart, all you need to do is turn this one on, and the next time you restart GarageBand, it'll be reset to its default settings. Don't worry, you'll keep all your projects, but everything else will be reset, and it should be good to go.